y verás que tú puedes volar y que todo lo consigue. The first key difference between Nearpod and Pear Deck that you will find is the ability to add audio to the slide. How do you mean? Let's find out. We want students to hear your voice. Well, we want to go down to add audio to slide. And look, we get two buttons. This button allows you to upload audio from somewhere else on your computer. And this button allows you to record directly into the slide. Look, I am recording directly into the slide. Look, I am recording directly into the slide. Wow, like magic. I can add that to my slide, and there it is. My students can hear it. I can leave them an independent, uh, a student-paced presentation. I can have them listen to it as I'm going through the slide with an instructor-paced presentation. But my voice is in the slide, and it took seconds. It took one click for me to make that happen. Let's compare that with Nearpod. So with Nearpod, let's say we want to add our voice into and perfect. We want we click on audio. Oh wait, we can't. With Nearpod, you have to upload audio from elsewhere. What this means for you is that you probably have to open up the voice recorder on your computer, say what you want to say, download it, find it on your computer, upload it to Nearpod, just to get one recording onto one slide for one activity in your presentation. Um, so this is definitely not very user friendly. It's much easier to record yourself using Pear Deck and that's one point for Pear Deck. But wait a minute. What if you want your students to record themselves? Say you want to assess your students speaking. Say you want to give them feedback on how well they can answer a question by speaking or perform a speaking task. Well, on Nearpod, you can go to open-ended question and enable student audio recordings. This allows students to record themselves. And even though it's still in beta, I've used this quite regularly and it works very well. Only students can record themselves directly into the slide and then you can listen to it later and give them feedback on their speaking. Let's take a look at how you would do that in Pear Deck. So in Pear Deck, let's open up a slide. Let's take this slide here. Let's go down. Oh, wait. There is no way to embed an activity for students to record themselves in Pear Deck. So while you're able to beautifully record yourself with the click of a button in Pear Deck, that option does not exist for students. And while in Nearpod, it is very clunky to include your audio in a slide, it is almost seamless for students to record themselves. So this is one point for Nearpod because Pear Deck cannot and does not allow students to record their voices into the slide. Okay, okay, we're nitpicking when it comes to features, but what about ease of use? Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look at, at Pear Deck. Let's go ahead and open Pear Deck. We wanna use the Start Lesson button as part of the extension that is on the panel here. We want to click on Instructor Paste Activity. And boom, we get our code that we can give to our students if we're sharing our screen. Let's take a look at what that looks like on Nearpod. So on Nearpod, we want to use the extension to go to Nearpod. Oh, what are we going to see? Oh, saving, waiting, almost there. Almost there, still waiting. So notice that this is a presentation consisting of eight slides and four activities, and it took a little while just to load that presentation. And now we still have to click on live participation to make it pop up so that we can share our screen and our code with students and give them or give them the link for them to log in. So after the presentation loads, it still works very much like Pear Deck and is very uh, easy to use. However, those moments of waiting for those, the slide to prepare so that you can get it and launch the presentation 
can take a bit. For example, I prepare my slides for a week or two week stretches. And so I sometimes have 30, 40, 50 slides. And it can take sometimes a minute or two minutes just to wait for those slides to load. So that is one point for Pear Deck. It is much faster than Nearpod and much easier to use. But let's say that you want to use Nearpod because it does have a variety of features, right? It has a lot more question types and has a, um, a lot more functionality uh, than Pear Deck does. And let's say we want to use Nearpod. Okay, perfect. And let's say now that we have some slides and we want to copy and paste. Let's say we have a poll question and, you know, we just want to, we want to just copy and paste that slide. What happens? Oh, so you can't actually copy the slide. So you still have to change everything. It does not allow you to just copy and edit. It does not allow you to just copy and edit. And this is something that has happened to me in class. I've done this. And when I went to present, it was simply an image. Students did not have the actual poll open up. On Pear Deck, you can copy slides and edit them instantly without any problems. So Pear Deck does allow you to copy slides. Nearpod does not. To illustrate what I mean, let's take a look. Let's join the lesson. Okay, we're going to start our lesson here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm teacher man. I'm going to hop on over to my poll. Perfect. Here's my poll. I've got my student, Mr. K. All right. And here's what Mr. K sees. Okay, he can answer option three. Got it. As a teacher, I can see that. See that he answered uh, A. Perfect. Now let's go on to the copied slide. Oh, this was the slide that I copied. And this is what students see. And this is what happened to me in class. I copied the slide and then saw this ugly, non-dynamic, just stationary image that did not allow students to answer or do anything. But this was definitely something that I was not expecting. And it was very, very cumbersome and inconvenient. So one point for Pear Deck because you can copy slides from different presentations or within the same presentation and Nearpod does not allow you to do so. So perhaps you might be thinking, well, save for the caveat of Pear Deck not allowing you to record student responses directly into the slide, Pear Deck is the clear winner, right? It's faster, it's easier to use than Nearpod. Yes, that's true, but it's not a clear winner yet because when we look at reports and data visualization, we see that Nearpod is actually much better. Let's take a look. If we look at the reports for Pear Deck, we want to go to sessions and we open up our test presentation. Let's open up the dashboard. So from here, we notice that Pear Deck shows us the different slides and it shows us who you know where which slides have responses by putting a green line underneath it so it shows us that okay i responded here and this is where my response was but if you want to see responses for a given student you have to click on each slide to see which slides that student responded on which slides that student did not respond on and if you're trying to calculate some type of participation grade or even just a gross accuracy score, um, then it's very difficult to do that in Pear Deck. Let's take a look at Nearpod. So for Nearpod, we want to open up the reports tab and let's open the report for this presentation, the one that we're working with in Nearpod. Let's open it up and look at the visualization that we get with Nearpod. Uh, it has the different question types, but it also provides us with a summary and it tells us how many, which percentage of the questions were answered and which percentage were uh, of the questions were skipped. It tells us the student name, it tells us their overall participation. So I answered 20% of the uh, questions and left the other 80% blank. So if you're looking to get a participation score, it tells you right here. So this is a 
big difference with one click. It gives you at one glance, you can see where all of your students, uh, how engaged all of your students are, as opposed to Pear Deck, which makes you go through each slide and look at each question type to determine where students students were responding. So the the um, the reports functionality of Nearpod is vastly superior, far superior to that of Pear Deck, and that is one point for Nearpod. So if we look here, we see that we have Pear Deck with three points, Nearpod with two, and while it might seem like Pear Deck is a clear winner, that's not the case. In making this video, it became clear how easy it would be for one company to eliminate the other. The advantages of one platform are due to the shortcomings of the other. So if one, either Pear Deck or Nearpod, could capitalize on this knowledge, on knowing what the other platform is missing and include those features, we would have one perfect, complete platform. So thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, but also reach out to representatives of Pear Deck and Nearpod and let them know with feedback what features you would like them to include in their platforms.